In this video, I want to talk about Vortex and discuss how it compares to other mod management tools, specifically Nexus Mod Manager and Mod Organizer. However, you should be aware that this is not going to be a detailed side by side comparison of the various features, but rather a look into who Vortex is aimed at, which part of the modding community is this particular tool tailored for. Now, the reason I'm making this video is I have noticed a fair amount of confusion regarding which tool Vortex is supposed to be replacing. Some of this seems to stem from the fact that the lead developer on the Vortex project is Tanin, who of course was the creator of Mod Organizer. And I think a lot of Mod Organizer fans felt this meant Vortex was going to be a replacement for that tool. It was going to be Mod Organizer 3. And as you can probably tell already, this is not the case. Vortex is really aimed at the Nexus Mod Manager community, the people using that tool. It is going to replace Nexus Mod Manager. I'm sure all of you know what Nexus Mod Manager is, but just in case there are a few people who have not really heard of Mod Organizer, that is a, a more advanced mod management tool. I think it's fair to call it more advanced. It has a lot of very cool features, a lot of very powerful extras that Nexus Mod Manager does not and the fans of Mod Organizer swear by it. They, they really would never want to use anything other than Mod Organizer because of the power it gives them to mod their games. And these are the people I would consider modding enthusiasts. They're not just people who want to mod their game or even mod it quite far. They want to mod it to the max. They don't just want to add lots of mods. They want total and utter control of every aspect of their load order. They, they want to tweak everything. They don't want to compromise on any issue whatsoever. They are, they are control freaks in modding terms. Nexus Mod Manager, on the other hand, is aimed at the majority. It basically allows you to do most of the modding you'll ever need but occasionally you will need to make the odd compromise. So for example, you might have to choose which mod wins in a conflict of replacing, say, textures, whereas with Mod Organizer, you could actually pick individual textures from different mods very, very easily and get that sort of fine-tuned control that Mod Organizer users generally want. It's also worth mentioning the fact that Mod Organizer is a specialized mod management tool that only mods Bethesda Gaming Studios games, whereas Nexus Mod Manager, of course, supports a lot more games. Vortex has to do that as well. This is going to be the mod management tool that Nexus Mod users will use or will probably use to mod most of their games. And that's it, basically. Vortex is aimed at the people who are currently using Nexus Mod Manager. It's supposed to replace that tool. It needs to be user-friendly, easy to use, future-proof, and I think it needs to be something that the next generation of modder is going to be comfortable with. And that's going to mean a slightly different interface to the ones I grew up with, because, of course, for me, Windows with lots of menus and 8-point font drop-down options is perfectly fine, but for a lot of new users, they are expecting something different, and Vortex is going to be that tool. It's going to be something they should be comfortable with straight away. It's also going to be something that should be comfortable for people who've tried BethesdaNet or Steam Workshop. It's going to be consistent with that kind of experience. However, whilst that may be the aim for Vortex at release, this does not mean it will not improve over time. In fact, it may get a lot of advanced functionality over time because the, the developer is creating Vortex in a way that will allow other people to add extensions, plugins to the mod management tool itself and thus allow you to have even more powerful features. Where this will go, Nobody really knows, but potentially, perhaps one day, people could create extensions for Vortex that will give it the same, if not greater, functionality than Mod Organizer. Only time will tell. So, in summary, what am I saying? 
If you are a mod organizer user and you love the power and control you have over your load order, Vortex is something you are probably not going to use anytime soon. That may change. One day in the future, Vortex may become a tool you want to use, but for now, you're probably better off sticking with Mod Organizer. However, if you're using Nexus Mod Manager and you're thinking of beginning to mod a new game, you may want to try Vortex. However, at the moment, uh, making this at the time of making this video, Vortex is in alpha, so bear that in mind. If you're using Nexus Mod Manager to mod a current game, transferring over to Vortex is probably not necessary right now. I would hold off for a while. I'd definitely hold off until it's out of alpha stage. Uh, but just understand, if you are a Nexus Mod Manager user, this tool is probably aimed at you. So hopefully that should clear things up for you and you will have a better idea as to whether or not Vortex is going to be a tool you are interested in in the near future. Again, the distant future, who knows where Vortex is going to go. Vortex is going to continue uh, getting new features, probably reasonably rapidly at this stage, seeing as it is in alpha. And I'm going to continue making tutorials covering various different features and the ways in which it differs in certain areas. For example, how it handles load order. Uh, you can keep following my channel if you want to, to be alerted when those videos arrive. So thank you for listening to me ramble away and uh, I hope the video was useful. I will see you guys next time.